It was just another Saturday in the springtime for the Golden Gopher Athletic Department. The day began with the last chance track meet. The last chance meet is uh, it's just another competition that we have at our facility here, and we usually run this every second weekend in May. Uh, it's an opportunity for some of the people to qualify for the national championships, whether it's the NEIA or the Division II, NC2A, or Division I, and that's why we call it the last chance meet. It might be their last chance. Hope not. Aside from the last chance track meet, there was also a Big Ten baseball game going on today at the U of M. The Gophers are hoping to put together at least four wins in their final six games. If they can, they'll qualify for the Big Ten Championships later this month in Illinois. In today's first game, they got off on the right track. With the bases loaded in the third, Iowa's Jeff Green delivers a wild pitch, allowing Jack Schlichting to score from third for a 1-0 Gopher lead. Then Terry Steinbeck singled to score another run before Ron Van Crevelin was stopped at the plate by Iowa catcher Dick Torelli. That made it 2-0 Minnesota. In the fifth, the Hawkeyes got one back, but the Gophers held on to win the first game 2-1. In addition to everything else going on here this afternoon at the university, the Gopher football team was to have held its annual spring football scrimmage. But as you can see, the field behind me is empty. The Gophers were forced to cancel the scrimmage due to too many injuries. Oh well, football fans take heart. There are just 125 days before the Gopher football team opens their fall schedule in the Metrodome. Jeff Passelt, New Center 11 Sports.